All right, so we're now going to look at what our expected rate of return is. So we can look at this in, in somewhat of a, of a forward thinking, what we think this company is actually going to be worth in a year, right? Or what we think the return on this holding period is going to be, right? And that's going to be our expected rate of return. Now, what we have here, just to find a few things, we have our sigma here, which is our summation, okay? And then we also have the probability of the event occurring, right? That's what this P is. The P is, is for probability. Okay, and then the R is our expected return in that state. Okay, so what we have here is that we're looking at this, we're saying, all right, how many states, how many possible events do we have? If we are looking at the rain, of, rain situation, basically N would be 2, okay, under the rain scenario. Okay, N would be 3 under the, uh, that stock scenario when we're looking at the, the bond situation. We can expand this out for however many events and any occurrences that we have. Okay? So what we're saying here is that let's say n is 3. Okay, that means that we're looking at from i is 1 through i is 3. Okay? And so we're plugging that into our summation equation. So we're saying this is going to be the probability of the return on, uh, of, of event 1. We have the probability of event 1. That's multiplied by our required return Right, we have the probability of 1 multiplied by the re return on 1, okay? And then that's going to be plus the probability on 2 and the return on 2. And that's going to be plus the probability on 3 and then the return on 3, okay? And that's going to tell us what our expected return is, okay? And we do that by using this hat, okay? That's our hat. That hat is going to be denoting what our expected return is going to be. Okay. Now, putting this as an example, okay, is that we're now going to compute what our expected return is on these two companies, on Dane Creek Distillery and Outlier Education Services. Okay, so we know that in the boom time is that the probability, so this is that probability, that PI that we're going to be looking at, we want to figure out what the expected return is on... Dane Creek Distillery, and we want to figure out our expected return on outlier education services. Okay. So we're going to put in here is that we have our, we have our, P, our probability of the return multiplied by the return. Okay. So the first one we're going to have here is we have this probability, that 0.3, that is then multiplied by the return that we're going to be receiving uh, at Dane Creek Distillery, right? which is that 75%. Okay. And then we're going to be adding on to that the second event occurring. So, right, so this is event 1, this is event 2, and then we're going to have event 3 out here. Okay? So 1, 2, and 3. The boom is 1, normal is 2, and event 3 is the recession. So we're going to t come out here, we're going to have our normal event, which is that 45% chance, right, coming right there. And that's multiplied by our return that we see in time period 2, which is that 15%. And then in time period 3, we're going to have the 0.25. And that is multiplied by the return we're expecting there, which is a negative 0.6. Okay? Then the next thing we do is, so that's going to, we're going to multiply that through, and we're going to figure out what the, what the expected return is on Dan Creek Distillery. Now, we're going to do this in the same way for outlier education services. Okay? Because we're gonna, still going to have this 0.3, right? Because these things here are the same, because this is still looking at event 1. Okay, so there's a 0.3 a chance of a boom occurring. If there's a boom occurs, what is education, outlier education services return going to be? It's going to be 20%. Okay? And then the probability of the second state occurring, of the normal state occurring, is what? 0.45. The same exact thing we saw at 2. Okay? Same for Dane Creek Distillery. And the return we're going to receive there is also going to be 15%. And then we look at event three, and this one here as well is 25% chance, right? We have a probability here. These are exactly the same, right? And that's going to be multiplied by that 5% return. Okay, so our expected return on Dane Creek Distillery is going to be 14.25%. And our expected return on Outlier Education Services is going to be 14%. 
Okay. Now, when we look at this, we compare these. We're like, all right, so this is, if I hold this, this is what my, I expect my return is going to be. Right? I expect Dane Creek to return 14.25%. I expect, I expect the outlier education services to, per, to return 14%. Now, I have to look at this, and I have to say which one of these, if these are the only two stocks I can buy, I have to look at them and say, which one of these am I going to buy? Okay? Now, if I'm looking at this, Dane Creek has, has a quarter percentage higher return than outlier education. So it's my response, oh, I should buy Dane Creek? Well, maybe not, right? Because when we look at it, is that between these three here, is that we have, granted, a much higher likelihood of, of a return in a boom time, okay? But we could also lose a lot if we go into a recession. We can lose 60% of our value. That is a big negative. Versus outlier education services, which would be returning 5%, would still be positive. Okay? So when we look at this, we know that outlier education is going to be less risky. 